Ball Cricket. Thanks for checking in for episode number six of uh, the 2018-19 summer. Guys, this is uh, one of the videos of my Cricket Bat Maintenance mini-series, so be sure to check out the other three or four videos in this series as well. Guys, today we're having a look at how to apply a toe guard. Stay tuned. First thing we need to do, guys, is remove the glue from the bottom of the bat. So you can see I'm using a random orbital sander here to get rid of that. I'm using 80 grit sandpaper and being uh, because it's end grain you need to be quite cautious that you're not taking away too much material. So you're just being uh, reasonably, reasonably gentle to just get the uh, glue off. Now guys, for the last few seasons I've been using a, uh, an actual shoe sole as toe guards, but what that means is they don't come pre-cut. So what I'm doing here is just measuring the actual toe of my bat and making a small template. So guys, I've been using these topi soles for the last few years. They come in a pair and they're usually for the bottom of men's dress shoes. However, I've found that these are much harder wearing than cricket toe guards and at about $14 or $15 a pair um, on eBay, you get about four from uh, a single sheet, so about eight. That means that in comparison to the uh, commercial base ones, they work out at about $2 a toe guard and last significantly longer. This is 40 grit sandpaper that actually comes with the uh, commercial um, toe guard replacements. Now what I'm doing here is actually roughing up the toe of the bat. And the reason for that is that it needs a good surface to allow the, the glue to actually bond with. And this is really important to get a good set of the, uh, of the actual toe guard. Now not only will I use the sandpaper here, but I also use my pocket knife to actually then also put a little, a couple of deeper scores actually into the timber as well, and this just allows a, a greater surface area for the glue to stick to. Now, guys, I actually use linseed oil on the faces of my bat and leave those natural. So, what I'm putting on here is uh, an actual sock to allow me to tape up around the boat to hold the bat as uh, the tape won't stick to linseed oil. Now this particular process that I'm doing is because I use a random orbital sander to finish off the, uh, the toe guard, what you don't want to do is actually nick the bottom of your back. So putting on this masking tape now allows you to do a nice clean finish. I'm spending a bit of time here guys being nice and precise to get the masking tape out of the way. If it's some of it is left in the way, then you do get the actual masking tape in the way of the glue, and that means that your toe guard is at risk of getting a weak spot and coming off a lot sooner than what you'd like. So getting it nice and neat and tidy here allows for a longevity of the toe guard. At the time that I went to the Topi soles, I also changed glues. So I went to the Loctite Go To Gel, and it's basically designed as a flexible glue. I feel it's better than the type of contact cement glue that you get with the toe guard replacers. Now I'm just putting that on with a paddle pop stick and being reasonably liberal um, before sticking that um, before sticking on the tape here. Now this is basically about two to two and a half inches long, just so that the tape that we're putting on has something to stick to. Now I've only put glue onto the toe of the bat. Because we're using actually a pressure method here, we don't actually need to worry about uh, gluing both of the items. So I was with the electrical tape and then subsequent packing tape or clear packing tape here. I'm putting everything on roughly about a 50% stretch. So 100% stretch is the tape breaking. I'm putting about a 50% stretch on the tape, uh, sticking it down on each side.
you don't have to stick the tape down from front to back as I'm doing here at the moment. If the, your toe of your bat is quite square, then you can probably get away without doing this. Generally as the bat ages, I have the preference to put the tape on like this as it means that you actually get the toe guard to curve around uh, the curvature of your, of your toe, which does happen a little bit as the bat ages. various points here through the stick up you see me go round with just one round of tape the reason for that is because we're putting the tape under uh, some pressure it can have a habit of loosening off and what you don't want is your full tape up to loosen off as you're getting finished so just a couple of pieces around at each interval This is fairly straightforward guys, you just need to remove the tape the next day, being sure to uh, be nice and gentle around the actual toe guard itself uh, to not rip it off. Uh, and you can see here that I do take the tape and the sock off, but I am being nice and gentle over the top of the toe guard. Depending on how well you've trimmed your toe guard to your template guys, you might not need to trim these off with scissors. Now these are just a, a good pair of nice and sharp scissors just to take off a little bit of that excess bulk before sanding. I'm using 120 grit sandpaper here guys, which is still on the relatively fine side, but because you are sanding near the finished surface of your bat, you don't want to go too low in the grade. And the trick here is watching for how close you're getting because you start to notice that you're sending off the masking tape and that's when you're getting very close to the surface of your bat and time to, uh, to move around to another surface. As I flip the bat over here to do the other side, you can see that I've actually added another couple of lengths of masking tape. That's because my orbital sander is quite wide and so I was a bit concerned about nicking the, uh, the actual uh, exposed part of the uh, bat surface by putting on a couple of the extra rungs of masking tape you just prevent that from happening. Once you're happy that you've got the toe guard as close to the surface as you're happy with, it's just about removing the tape and doing the cleanup. Right, guys, so there you go. One toe guard uh, applied to the toe of my bat. Now, I have gone and uh, finished off this process doing a refurb of this particular bat, so check that full refurb video out as well. And that's what the little hole in the bottom from is from rebinding this bat. Guys, if you do have any questions or any comments on what you have seen through uh, my, my particular video today, please don't hesitate in dropping those down into the comments section. I do like seeing those comments and uh, like replying to them when I can. Right guys, this particular video was part of the mini-series of Bat Maintenance, so be sure to check out the other videos that I have completed in the mini-series, otherwise still a whole stack load of videos to come in the coming weeks, leading into the beginning of the Australian summer. Right guys, this is Clifton from Bat and Ball Cricket. We'll catch you again really soon. Bye for now.